all right you guys welcome back to another vlog and today we are headed to versailles in france this is what it looks like when you're walking up and this is after you get through security and you just follow the directions we're going upstairs to some rooms there's a series of rooms that just range in different colors to be honest with you i have no idea who these rooms belong to but they're just filled with so many paintings and the walls are absolutely stunning and then you look out and you can see part of the gardens they honestly stretch out so far you can barely see them all and then this room here i believe i don't think it's king louis or henry i think it's just like a guest room or something because those rooms are downstairs, but this is just an example of what the rooms look like. They have furniture everywhere and the ceilings are all painted. And this is like the grand foyer, foyer, I think it's foyer. And it was just super pretty. Look at the ceiling. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So gorgeous. And after you wrap up touring the inside, you can head outside to the gardens. Down so I can function. Oh, he just hopped. Yeah. We're here in Versailles, the chateau and it's raining and absolutely freezing cold. I'd say it's the coldest day in Paris so far. The fountains aren't going, probably because it's raining. So we're just checking things out. Inside was pretty nice. What were your thoughts about the inside? Crazy, super big. Very packed. Super detailed. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was nice. It's definitely like really packed. Um, I would, we came at 10.30, we were really late to our reservation. So I would try to get there even earlier because it was very crowded. But out here, people don't seem to like the rain. So there's not many other people. So your advice to the people is buy a ticket early and go when it's sunny out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. I no more please. Okay, you guys, we just got back from a very long and adventurous day. Today we went to Versailles which is a part of, I believe, Paris, and it's home to the Chateau Versailles, which is where King Louis and all these people lived. So we had quite an adventure getting there this morning. We did book tickets online. You don't have to book tickets. I do remember seeing a place there where you could buy tickets, but it definitely helped that we had them. So you walk up to the gate, and you get off, you can get to Versailles by train. So we're staying at the airport. So we just hopped on, well, actually we hopped on a bus today because the train line was down. Typically you can just hop on the RERB and then you take it and you transfer to the RERC and that goes directly to Versailles if you hop on the right one. So super easy to get there um, if you don't wanna take like a taxi or something. Once we got to the chateau, you go through security and you can get an audio guide. It was pretty rainy and gloomy out today, so unfortunately we didn't explore as much of the gardens as we would have wanted to. It was recommended to me that you rent a bike through the garden and that seems like something we would have loved to do, but it was literally the coldest day in France so far. It was extremely cold today and we did not bike through Versailles. However, um, anyway, 
but yes, if you have the opportunity to do so, I would recommend that because there's so much to see. It was extremely crowded and super busy. So if you can book an earlier reservation, I definitely think that would make a difference. We were supposed to get there at nine, but we had the whole like hiccup with the bus and train and whatnot. So we ended up getting there around like 10 45. And I mean, it was crowded and people do not know how to read the room. So when you go in, it's like separated into sections. And, you know, the way it was is if you walk into the room, you can like keep going straight if you don't want to stop or you can like get out of the way this way. And people were just like stopping the second they walked into the room. The Hall of Mirrors is one of the most popular parts of the Versailles experience. I was really looking forward to going. I've seen pictures all over Instagram of it. It is insanely crowded. It is nothing like what I've seen on Instagram where it looks like nobody's in the background. I will say when you first walk in, it was very overwhelming. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like sardines packed into an area. But the further we walked down, the more it opened up. I think it's just going back to what I originally said. When people just like didn't understand that they needed to like walk out of the way, they would just stop and start filming immediately upon arrival. But it was a super cool spot. I mean, it's weird to think that she's been around for a couple thousand years so that was really fun and we got some soap from Marie Antoinette there are a lot of so when you get off the train at Versailles you can like easily follow signs I don't think it's confusing to get there at all I think it's super easy to navigate there's a Starbucks right outside of the train station so there's that and there's free Wi-Fi there and then there's like a ton of little restaurants and stuff too. So if you want to grab food while you're in Versailles, you don't have to worry about that. It's not like you just roll up to the chapel, roll up to the chateau and it's like over. But yeah, it was super fun. I think tickets to Versailles, I don't know how much they were, but we were able to book them online and then download them right to our phone on the wallet. So that's super convenient. And overall, it was a pretty fun day. I wish we would have dressed maybe a little bit warmer so we could have explored the gardens. But like I said, it was just very rainy and super, super cold. So if you go in November, that's just the vibe. I also lost identical nails on this adventure. But we, we made it and we persevered. So anyway, thanks for watching today's vlog. And I'll see ya next time.